Hiri Mahashaya was also the guru of, of great disciples. One of them is Swami Pranabhananda, who in, in Autobiography of a Yogi Master calls the saint with two bodies because Yogananda's father had sent uh, our guru to Banaras to deliver a message to um, a man that he didn't know, but he said, go to my guru by Swami Parama, uh, Pranabhananda's house and he will lead you to this man to give this message. And so as our young guru arrived at this Swami Pranabhananda's house, Swami Prabhupananda already knew who Master was, that he was uh, uh, Bhagavati's son, and said, welcome. I have already begun to, uh, the process of summoning the, the man that you need to see. And Master was surprised because he hadn't even given him the notes yet, saying who he was he needed to see. And so then Swami Pranabhananda sat down and went into meditation and Master was a little startled by this because, because the Swami just finished to stop talking and went into meditation. And at the same time, the man that Yogananda Ji needed to see was bathing in the ghat. And Swami Pranabhananda appeared to him and said, please come to my house. There is a boy waiting for you. He has a message from you, from his father. And so the man said, fine, I'm happy to go with you to your house. Let's walk together to your house. And he said, suddenly, Swami Pranabhananda started walking very, very quickly, and he just lost sight of him. And so the man, when he was climbing up the stairs to the house, ran into Yogananda. And Yogananda said, how did you know to come see me? And the man said, all well, the Swami Pranabhananda just came down to the God to get me. He said, no, he's been sitting here in meditation the entire time. So this is how Master has given Swami Pranabhananda the name of the Swami with two bodies. Um, but this was the caliber of Lahiri Mahashaya's disciples. And Yogananda was saying, my goodness, what kind of consciousness must Lahiri have had to have this kind of uh, Swami as his disciple?